In this video, I'm going to go over how to create a very basic uh, executable program on the TI-84 graphene calculator. So if I click on uh, programs, there's two that I have there. The first one that I named COB is the change of base formula. And the second one is for the quadratic formula. Okay. You buy a calculator, they're going to have uh, programs built in. This, one, for example, has uh, some finance programs that come with it. You can download some, you can create your own. So in this uh, video, let me show you how to create your own uh, program. So first let me show you an example. You have the formula for the change of base. Let's suppose I have the log of some number x to base b. Now your calculator has uh, log over here, so that's the base 10, that's ln, that's the base e. Well the log of uh, x to base b, the formula for the change of base tells you if you have the log of x to base b, that's going to be the same as the log of x to base 10 over the log of whatever the space is. Okay, so it'll be that. So that's the way you would do the computation. Okay, base 10 and base E, no problem, you have your keys right there. So, example, if I want, well, what is a log of, say, 85 to base 7? Well, the formula tells you that. You can get the answer by taking the log of whatever x is, in this case 85. And then here you pick the base. Okay. So I'm going to pick base 10. So it'll be the log of 85 to base 10 over the log of 7 to base 10. And remember, if the base is 10, you can leave it out the 10. You don't need it in there. Okay. So you have to have, you have two ch choices here. You can use ln also. If that's in your calculator. So this will be the same thing as the natural log of 85 over the natural log of 7. Okay. And then, of course, you can compute. Use your calculator for this. And then run off two places, say, 2.28. And that's the way you would do it. So if you have a, a formula in mind, uh, whether it's a uh, annuity, present value, an annuity, future value, a compound interest formula, and you want to create your own program, uh, you can do it on this uh, calculator. So let me show you how it works. Uh, in my case, then, a uh, program here. And then I got the first one, COB, that's the, that's the change of base. So I'm going to hit enter there. Okay, program, execute the program, uh, hit enter. And then uh, B is the base. So in my case, I want to I want to find the log of this number 85 to base 7. Okay, so this will be 7. And then hit enter. And then uh, the X value is 85. So that's 85. So I enter 85 here. X is 85. Hit enter, and then it gives me the answer. The log of x, log of x, is 2.28 to two places. Okay. Then you can see that's that's what we got. Okay. So you can you can do this type of thing. Then uh, let me go to programs here. Let me clear all of this here. So let's suppose we wanted to. Uh, create a new program. So I hit the arrow here and go over here to new. Okay, and then we name the program. So you have, I believe, eight characters. Okay, so I'm going to put, uh, it's already in the alpha mode, so I just hit the letter A. So I'm going to do the area of the triangle. So this is uh, A of O triangle. 
Okay, then I hit enter. So that's going to be the name of the program. And then you have the colon here, and then uh, we are going to enter the commands. Okay, so uh, the area of the triangle then A is going to equal to one half. I'm going to put 0.5, one half. The base of the triangle times the height. Okay, that's your formula. Okay, so then I enter the command. So to get your commands, you go to programs. You hit programs here, and then go to I/O. Hit these commands. Somebody use this one here, prompt. So hit two, and then the variables for this one. Uh, the input variables you're going to use are B and H, okay? So uh, hit the alpha key here to get the letters. So it's alpha and then B. And then I enter a comma. And then I hit alpha and then H over here. And then hit enter, okay? And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, uh, put this in parentheses here. So I'll say 0.5. And then the formula is over here, 0.5 BH. So uh, alpha B and alpha H. Put parentheses on that. And then I'm going to store it. Okay. So hit the STL key, store it in A. This is the area. So alpha. A. Okay. And then hit enter. And that's pretty much it here. So now to, to finish this, and you can you can enter what you want. So I'm going to hit uh, uh, programs, and then I want to display. Okay, so I want display three. So hit three, display, and then. Uh, it I want uh, quotation marks here, so down here would be alpha right there, and I'm just gonna say then alpha, so that's a area. So I'm gonna spell out area alpha r. And then alpha E, then alpha A, and then I want a space here, so I'll go to alpha here where the zero is, space, then I'm going to type is. So alpha I, alpha S, and then quotes again. And then a comma. And then I'm going to type A. Okay. Okay, so I'll say set enter. And then we're finished here. So let me go to programs here. So there it is, area of a triangle. And again, you can, you can be more more detailed if you wanted this, but just to make it simple, that's what I, what I, use, what I use. So I hit enter. Okay. So let's let's suppose let's suppose the uh, want to find the area of a triangle. We hit enter, and let's say the base is ten. Okay. So we'll enter ten. And let's say the height is twenty. Okay, hit enter. Area is 100, and of course you can include the units if you want, but this would be 100 square units. Okay, so if it's inches, square inches, or if it's feet, square inches, and there you have it. Now, uh, I'll clear this. If at any point you want to uh, make changes to it, you can go to Programs, and you can edit. Okay, and then hit whatever, whichever one you want to edit. Okay, 
let's look at this one. Okay, so if you want to change some of these, you can go ahead and change this. Okay. In my case, in the quadratic formula, for example, I'm going to go back and edit it since it's supposed to want to fit this. Edit the quadratic formula. Okay. Uh, when I did this for the quadratic formula, I went ahead and the, the, the solution is x and y, and I put fraction next to it. Okay, so if the answer comes out to say uh, 0.5, gives you one half. If, you, if, it, if, if the program can write it as a fraction, it'll give it to you as a fraction. If not, it'll it'll leave it. Uh, in decimal, in decimal form, okay. But anyway, uh, that's how you can uh, create your own programs, uh, and that's why uh, my advice to you, if you are interested in uh, science, especially in mathematics and, and computer science, I would strongly recommend that you major in mathematics and minor in computer science, or major in computer science and minor. In mathematics or double major in math and computer science okay uh, that's what I would have done now when I got my degree I got um, majored in uh, in math I actually had a double major so it was mathematics and Spanish didn't do much for the Spanish so if I had to go back and do it again I would I would uh, get the, the double major in math and computer science there's uh, money to be made in those areas and if you can't get a good paying job in industry or business, you can always teach, okay? Get the summers off, uh, so there's a lot of uh, good things about teaching, not a time off, not as much money, but, you know, you can make a living. Okay, uh, see you in another video. Take, uh, thanks for watching.